de R.E.M. Notre homme Steve Wynn a derrière lui une bonne quinzaine d'albums d'un rock US aux ambiances variées mais aussi plus physiquement une charmante batteuse, Linda Pittman. Looking into the night, it's like a Bruce Springsteen song. And I went bowling. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I went bowling by a bus. It's the shit. I was a journalist um, from the time I was 14 to about 19, first for the school papers and then for the local newspapers in Los Angeles. And this is what I want to do with my life. Basketball, football, baseball, tennis, track, swimming. Never wrote about bowling. Um, <laughs> I guess that's the one sport I didn't write about. Standing by the river, I was looking at the books. There was poets, politicians, beauty queens and crooks. I wonder where he stood when it all hit the track. Yeah, come back to Boston for our jumping train. I wrote my first song um, and had my first band when I was nine years old. It's funny because now, when I, you know, when you hear about Hanson, everybody says, oh, they can't really be playing their instruments, or this must be some kind of gimmick, or they must have other musicians playing for them. But I can remember being that old, and we were very serious. We would get together and rehearse. I think I rehearsed more back then than I do now. I hear feeling stronger now, better than you ever were, though, late at night when there's no one. We got a record offer um, from Mute Records. They, they wanted to put out the record. But the problem was we weren't a band. We didn't have a name. We didn't even think we were a band. So we had to think of something quickly. And Steve McCarthy, who's in the band, said, well, you know, the way we write songs, the way we record, is kind of like a gutter ball. It goes straight in the gutter. It's a, it's a big zero. And I said, yeah, OK, that's good enough. I'll take that. The priest from the Paris is laying for persuasion. Man with a note and wants verification. Somebody said this was my creation. solo records, um, I hire really good players and I give them the freedom to play what they want, but they're more or less my songs and my concept for the record. It's a little bit of a difference, but, um, um, but this record, My Midnight, felt like um, a band. It's as close as I've been to a band since Gutterball, where you had five people together who um, really brought a lot to the project, um, brought a lot in terms of parts and arrangements and ideas. Um, we lived together in, um, next to the studio for a week. We cooked dinner for each other. We played records together. Neil Young and Crazy Heart A victim of a bad divorce Take a little from the sun
like to say that I make records the same way that Woody Allen makes movies, in that um, you know, you, I hire my friends, the people I know, I make them quickly, cheaply, under budget, um, just with the, the intensity and the spirit and the spontaneity. I, I, I only work with people who I like and who I respect, and then I let them do what they do. I try to push them in a direction that I think will be good. I try to remind them of what they do well, encourage them, but then I let, basically let them do what they do. Let me blow out all your candles. Let me burn up all the photos. I wanna know you now. Let me take it down. We've been hanging out. We've been hanging out. We've been hanging out. We've been There's a little bit of the introspection of fluorescent, a little bit of the kind of the darkness of melting in the dark, some of the pop of sweetness and light, a little, a little bit of everything. Um, to me, it's my soul record. Um, if, if you said, well, if you said, what the sound about? I say, it's my soul record. It grooves. Um, you can dance to it. Everybody in America is a Gainsbourg fan. Every, 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 everybody, you know, it's, it's the most popular thing to be into now. Now everybody has the most obscure record. You know, if you say, "Well, I like Serge Gainsbourg," the next guy says, "Oh, everybody likes him. I like, you know, Francoise Hardy. Oh, everybody knows her. I'm into." And you keep going further and further down. You know how to play me. You, you can't help but slay me. You do something to me. Something to me On the one side, I mean, I do this for a living. I'm a professional musician, which blows my mind always. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed I've been doing this for my job for 16 years. But at the same time, I'm a record collector. I'm the same, the same guy who was, I'm the same kid who was 15 years old and going to the store just to find television B-sides, you know. And I know this sounds like a very corny story, a very, but it's really true. I mean, I'm a music fan still. I still love music. music I have the religious love for, for what I do. is trying to find a difference between American bowling alleys and, and Belgian bowling alleys. I finally found it. You don't have waffles in American bowling alleys. <laughs> Stop. Face à World Number 18, ils finissent en se retrouvant tout week pour un spécial couleur café. Et d'ici là, on rebobine celle-ci et on plaît pour ceux qui n'étaient pas là.